does your community have sort of special code words or jargon that you think might be really good if it was more broadly used? Hmm. <laughs> I, my brain immediately jumped to something that we just use for for her people in the building. We say Pink Panther just mean like, hey, do this like when your parents say we're going to the the, the restaurant to so be on your like kind of like what outside people should see. Uh, <laughs> uh, <where is> it? <laughs> the term is Pink Panther. Yeah, so that's just our our school term for. So for our school, we actually are renters. We have mm. the entire bottom floor of a of a church that is, okay. you know, we have during our school day. Well, we actually have three big rooms of that that are our exclusive use. Like mm. we are the only ones with the keys. No one from the church is allowed to go in there. Mm -hmm. But then we have shared spaces too, mm -hmm. and you know, so there's like a big industrial kitchen there, and they on Saturdays do they do meals. They have volunteers who do meals for the less fortunate in the area, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. people that need a meal. So there's volunteers that'll be coming in there prepping. So Pink Panther is our way of like, hey, the volunteers who don't quite understand what our school is about right. <laughs> and might not be okay with y'all just like kind of playing that game that just seems like to them, it's they're just running around yelling. But for right, us, right. It's, <laughs> no, you're actively getting that energy out and you're working together to come up with rules and structuring uh -huh. yourself and all those educational benefits that we see Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. someone else doesn't it's like hey pink panther so maybe you know that then everyone in the school goes oh, okay like we're gonna take it down a notch uh -huh. Uh -huh. just in terms of like you know it would be the same as you know when you have someone coming over to visit you clean the house before they visit right. a little bit right. more than when they don't and that's pink panther is basically that idea of do like, you know the origin of it like what is it how, how does, how does i think it was just the I, it was there before I started, and I uh -huh, think it was just uh -huh. a cool way for them to be able to like to say something. I, I've uh -huh, had jobs uh -huh. in the past where there were just like kind of code words of like yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it was more for just like, hey, are you okay? But you don't want mm -hmm. that person to know that they might be like, you don't want to go like, hey, is that person bo bothering you? Yeah, right yeah, in front yeah. Of them. So you say yeah. like this little little saying in front of a question that tells them. This is your opportunity to tell me, like, hey, let's go have a conversation over there. You know, right, right, right. No, yeah. that, that's a perfect example, though. Is is having that code word, you know, it, it, it's something that 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 you have to be context sensitive, um, mm -hmm. and and that's one of the things the kids are learning is like, okay, there's there's a context I need to attend to what's outside of you know, a, a bordering on my world. Um, because we're, what you're doing is is recognizing that there is a larger community that can have an impact if they see things they don't understand and right. and can't deal with productively because they don't have you know they're not part of the justice system or the uh, uh, restoration committee or you know like yeah like that's not an opportunity we have with them so we need to operate in a different way that's a perfect right. example and that, I I think that's yeah that that's probably the the term that because it comes up a lot just for it, it comes up for understanding that we have our rules, but also we are in a building that we don't control all of the rules. Right. So right. here is our way of going, oh, now we're on like, you know, this has nothing to do with the person sitting next to me in school or the right. staff member <clears throat> or whatever. Like the landlord says, don't do this. So mm -hmm. we don't do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank you. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Berg.